Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing this fall makeup tutorial. I did one of these already and I wanted to do a second one. I really love how this turned out. I love this lip. It's a little bit darker than what I normally do, but I really, really love it. So if you are interested in this look, please keep watching. If you're new, my name is Blair. I post all kinds of makeup content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope you will subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay. Let's get started, have some coffee, and I really wanna do another fall makeup look. I think I did, the one I did before, I called like fall makeup look number one. This is gonna be number two, and I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna do the eyes first, um, cause I'm probably gonna use a good bit of shimmer on my eyes so I am gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta brow wax in tinted I'm probably just gonna kind of speed through my eyebrows I'm just going to apply this wax and then fill them in with my NYX micro brow I want to do my eyes first today, so I'm going to quickly prime with my NARS eyeshadow base. I keep thinking I'm going to run out of this, but I have not yet. For eyeshadow today, I decided to use the Sigma Ambiance Palette. I used the Anastasia Soft Glam in my first fall makeup look, but I wanted to use this because this palette to me screams fall as well. The colors, oh, I've said this so many times about this palette, but this is probably one of my favorite palettes I have in my collection. It's so, so good. I'm first going to go into the cream in the palette, which is called Days, and we're going to put this all over the eye. Next, I'm going to go into this light brown down here called Basque. And I'm actually going to use the brush that comes with this palette. I think, does it say what brush this is? Yeah, the E38, the Diffused Crease Brush. And I'm going to put this above my crease as my main transition shade hopefully by the time this video is up I will have gotten the Sigma Cinderella palette I ordered it a few days ago I just haven't gotten it yet I am so excited to try that palette it first of all the colors just really really spoke to me and honestly after trying this palette from Sigma I knew I wanted to try that one because this formula on these shadows is really really nice now I'm gonna go into this shade so this is called summer solstice and it's kind of a brick burgundy kind of color and I want to use this in my outer V of my eye I feel like this color if the look turns out like I want. I feel like this color is gonna go with my blush I wanna use and my lip color really well. So I'm gonna take the same brush and start packing this on my outer V. So I'm just gonna kinda place this where I want it to be kind of in the shape that I want, and then I'll go back and kind of diffuse out the edges. And then I'm going to go back into Basque, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of Daylily. These colors are pretty similar. Basque is not quite as warm as Daylily, but they're both browns, kind of mid-toned browns. And I am taking this large shader brush, or not shader, a large crease brush. This is a new brush I got sent recently from the brand What's Up Beauty. 
Should have another video up using these brushes and their eyeshadow palette by the time this goes up, but this is a really great brush. Next, I'm going to take this shade, which is Oasis. This one is a little bit of a deeper brown, a little more of a red tone. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner as well, just to deepen that up a little bit more. And then just kind of blend over into the crease. Then I'm going into the dark brown, which is called Enrich. And this I'm taking on another brush from What's Up Beauty. It's the R102. It's a really, really tiny, fluffy crease brush. And it is the perfect size to apply color in a very small area, like right on the outer corner of the eye and keep it there. Like it almost blends and applies it at the same time. It's so nice. I'm kind of just laying this color down and keeping my eye open. Yeah, this brush is so nice. I'm going to use this a ton. I love the size of this. It's so tiny. And then I'm going to go back into my big blending brush again. And I'm like holding my brush very, very lightly, or I'm holding it out at the very, very edge. So I can kind of touch and blend really, really lightly. Next, I want to use, I think I'm gonna use this shimmer shade right here. It's called Candlelight. I don't think I've ever used this shade, actually. Pretty. It's kind of a reddish bronze color, so I'm going to take it with the other end of this brush. This is the E54 Sweeper from Sigma. And I'm going to tap this kind of in the center and then bring it over to the outer corner. That's pretty. I'm going to try it with my finger. Yeah, so you get more color payoff with your finger. I'm telling you guys, every shade in this palette is so, so good. And take this shade uh, up here called Luster. It's a little bit of a lighter, I think, shimmer shade. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger. I can't see that enough. Yeah, so I'm just using my pinky to kind of tap that on. Mm. these colors oh my goodness okay and then I'm just gonna take my Sigma brush again and kind of go around everything and blend one more time and I think that's all I'm gonna do for the eyes right now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean up under my eyes I don't actually don't have that much fallout but I have a little bit so I'm just going to kind of clean up underneath and then kind of on the sides over here. We're going to move on to the face. So I'm going to go in with some corrector. I am using Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish. Hopefully I'll be able to film one of these fall makeup videos in a long sleeve at some point um, but right now we have still not hit that point although this week it has been a little bit better it's been in the 70s which is good in the south for this time of year I'm so ready to wear something that's not sleep not sleepless <laughs> For foundation, we're going to use something I haven't used in a while. It's the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in LW2, which I know for a while people were saying it was being discontinued, but I feel like it's not. It's just you can only get it certain places which I'm happy about because if you've never tried this, you should. It's really really nice affordable foundation and I'm using 
my BK Beauty 101 to blend this out. I'm really trying to um, use this foundation because it's one that's been in my collection for a little while and I feel like if I don't use it up soon it's going to go bad so I'm trying to make an effort to use it a little bit more. I used to use this all the time. This was like one of my go-to foundations back when I first started my YouTube channel. In fact, I think I used this as my foundation in my first YouTube video ever. I was very, very into it for a while. It's pretty, it's very natural looking. I'm gonna apply a little bit more to my cheek area and a little bit to the sides of my nose. And I think I might get a smaller foundation brush. I like this one, but it's sometimes kind of hard to get into like smaller areas with it. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Sigma F80. For concealer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Light Peach. This concealer shade for me, Light Peach, is like a perfect match for my skin right now. So I don't really have any self tan on or anything. This matches me really, really well. I'm using my Sigma F03 brush to kind of spread this out a little. As you can see, you do not need a lot of this concealer. It is very, very pigmented. I only use those two dots and that was probably too much. I'm gonna take a damp sponge real quickly. This sponge is almost dry. I've been using it for all the videos I filmed today, so it's almost dry, but I feel like this is a good way to kind of pick up just a little bit of excess product, but not a ton. Sometimes for me, if the sponge is too wet and I go in under my eyes, it picks up way too much concealer, and then I feel like I need to add more. Okay, now I want to use a little bit. We're going to use a cream blush and a cream bronzer and a powder blush and a powder bronzer. So I'm going to use a little bit of my milk first. And I'm just kind of pouncing this. Pouncing. Bouncing. This in. a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my jawline. Okay, for the blush, I pulled out this. I don't know how much I'm going to love this with this eye look, but we're going to try it. So I really wanted to use this Patrick Ta um, cream and powder blush in the shade Oh She's Different. So this is a really pretty wine colored blush and to me it's like the perfect fall blush shade. So I'm going to get some directly on that brush I used for the milk bronzer and just kind of bounce that on over it. Oh, it's such a pretty color. I feel like this color and this Patrick Ta blush doesn't get much attention. I feel like I don't see many people using this one. So I usually use um, She's That Girl, the one that's more on the pink side. But this one is so pretty to me. Then I'm going to take uh, my Milani bronzer. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade Sunlight. And we're just going to lightly 
go over everywhere we put that milk bronzer and bring it down my neck and then we're gonna do the same thing with the powder blush from the Patrick Ta duo so I'm just gonna take a little bit and kind of apply that over the cream I am going to set with a little bit of powder but I'm just gonna go under my eyes and make sure I don't have any major creases and for my powder I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder and I'm gonna just put this under my eyes I'm gonna take a little bit more and go under my bronzer and contour or my bronzer and blush I mean and then add a little bit around my mouth and the side of my nose okay moving back to the eyes I am gonna take the summer solstice shade which is here and then bask so the reddish color and the brown that we used in the crease and I'm just taking a little bit of both and running these on my bottom lash line and this is a new little pencil brush I got from what's up beauty also it's r101 and it's the best brush for your lower lash line it's like the perfect size okay then I am gonna take a little bit of this shade so this is called marigold and it's kind of interesting it looks kind of rose gold like kind of like a rose gold shimmer it's really really pretty but I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and pop it in the center of my lid and then where is my brush here I'm gonna take a little bit of the dark brown and I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing starting on the lower lash line and kind of pulling it up I went ahead and did my mascara and stuff off camera I had to let my camera charge back for just a few minutes um, all I did was curl my lashes and apply my Elia mascara and now we're gonna do the lips so I really want to use this lipstick from Mac it's the the color is twig looks like this but I thought it would go well with that Patrick Ta blush hopefully it does I never use this lipstick shade but I think it's really pretty for fall so I'm gonna quickly line my lips this is the Milani retractable lip pencil in most natural and then we'll go over the top of that with twig ooh that is a pretty color why do I not wear this oh, I love that I feel like twig is like a classic Mac lipstick it's one of these satin lipsticks uh, ooh and it does look really pretty with that blush actually okay and then I'm just gonna take my finger and a little bit of the Patrick Ta cream and put that on top and that is gonna be it for this fall makeup tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this I love how this turned out my favorite part I think is the lip though I love this color this is so so pretty and with the cheeks and the eyes oh I love fall makeup so I hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you like the video I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already I post every Monday Wednesday and Friday also make sure to follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and tiktok simply.blair01 I'll see you in my next video remember simply be you bye